So hello and welcome back to my channel. If you do not know, my name is Ollie. If you're new here, hello, welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video. But if you're already subscribed, then hello and welcome back. How are you doing? I hope you are well. Today's video is my first favourites of the year. Well, technically it's the favourites of last year, but today's video is my December favourites. Everything I was loving, using, eating, etc. last year in December. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Disclaimer for this video, December was a very, very, very busy, busy month. Didn't get much chance to try new things, do new things, anything like that. But there's a few things. So, the only physical things which we have got, it's this vegan chicken, which is vegetarian butcher, and it's vegan, and it's called What The Cluck, and it's basically like vegan chicken pieces. So, they look like that. These vegan chicken pieces are really, really good, really flavoursome. They're like, just dead nice, like a pasta, as like a chicken dish. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just, these are probably one of the best best vegan chicken alternatives I've had. Get soy based chicken style chunks, high in protein and a source of fibre. Another food which I've been obsessed with is this is vegan pesto, it's called a vegan basil pe pesto. And it's basically dairy, gluten and wheat free. The brand is Sacla, Sacla, I think, S-A-C-L-A. -A. I don't know how to pronounce it but it's really good. It Smells so good. Kind of halfway through this tin to be fair. But it's really good. And I actually combine these together a lot and make a uh, chicken pesto pasta. Really good. I love pesto. I love like pesto on like toast, pesto toasties, pesto in pasta. Like I love pesto. And this is a really, really good vegan pesto. You can get this as well. Actually, both of these I think you get from most places like the co-op, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Waitrose Marks. You can get these from a lot of places, so they're really, really good. The few things now which are left are all inserted ones, so let me shimmy up. So I can insert. The first one is a movie. It's a movie which I'm not going to say a lot about because I just, I refuse to be that person to spoil it for a single person. So I'm literally going to say what it is and move on. But the first thing which I've been obsessed with and seen multiple times in cinema now is Spider-Man No Way Home. It's obviously the latest Spider-Man film and it is just phenomenal. I cannot explain how good it is and how many times I've watched it and how each time I've watched it I'm still like, hello. Like just taken back by every single thing in that film. Like for me, it's, it's probably in my top top three favourite Marvel movies. It is so, so good. I cannot explain. I am obsessed with it. Like, it is so, so good. That's all I'm going to say because knowing me, I'll probably split for one person and then I'll be hated forever. So, that's all I'm going to say. Moving on. Moving on to another movie. Well, this one's more of a series of movies and it is called The Princess Switch. I think that's what it's called. It's got Vanessa Hudgens in it and it's basically the parent trap but princesses or very easy watching, very funny, very light-hearted. It's not really chick flick but like that kind of a drama. Like, it's very easy. It's fair, it's not a very typical meat film. I kind of like, well, you know what? No, it probably is. But it's Vanessa Hudgens, and basically, she plays like two characters in the same movie, and one's a princess and one's not a princess, and basically switch lives for like a reason or whatever else. Won't spoil that one either. I watched number one in two the other day, and now tonight I'm going to watch number three, and I'm so, so excited for it. I'm actually obsessed with it. They're all on Netflix, and it's really good, light hearted, easy, relaxing watches, which is something I've been needing at the moment. Like, I've been struggling to lose myself in like a film, apart from Spider-Man, obviously. But like, when I'm sat at home, I need like an easy watch and it's definitely an easy watch and I highly recommend it if you're into this kind of film. Plus, it also feels like one of the characters that Vanessa Hudgens plays is a bit like Gabriella from House of Musical. I don't know if anyone else agrees, but I kind of get a Gabriella vibe. So I feel like I'm watching Gabriella, but like grown up, which I love that because I love House of Musical, so yeah. Speaking of House of Musical, my next favourite is Joshua Bassett's new music, which obviously now isn't new at all really when I'm filming this. It's not that new to be fair either, but it's been on repeat and it came out and I'm obsessed with it. He released three songs and they kind of are like clapbacks to Olivia Rodrigo's album, but I don't like the drums and I kind of love them both. So I'm kind of staying out of the drama and I'm just appreciating the art form of them. I love Joshua Bassett's music and the songs he released and like, I just want like a full album of his because his music really tells a story and it feels very Disney-fied, his music. I'm very here for it and I love it. Plus he is beautiful, like there's no denying it, but he is just beautiful. Joshua Bassett, him and his music right now. I am very obsessed with him and his music right now, so. And then the final favourite of December is Comedy Clubs. And now, I, I went to one of these when I went to London in December. Obsessed. Like, absolutely obsessed. I've been looking as well for book tickets for Manchester, because there's so many in Manchester, and I really want to go to more, because they're so, so good. I went to one in London, and I saw three different acts, I think. Me and Meals went, and it was just so much fun. I can't believe I've never been to one. Like, it just feels like very wholesome and funny and chaotic 
fantastic and I love it. I'm on to go to more comedy club, but they're definitely a favourite. And I've also got into like more stand-up comedian more. So on Netflix, I keep watching like stand-up comedian specials. You would never ever catch me on stage doing it, but going to them and watching is hilarious. And if you've never been to a comedy club, go because they're really funny. Like I don't know what it is it's about like seeing it live, it's just hilarious. So go to a comedy club. Like I said, I don't I did get a chance to experience a lot of new things in December. Kind of all I've got for December to recommend and favourites and things like that, which I'm sorry about, but the ones I have recommended, I genuinely have been loving, so. But that brings me to the end of this month's favourite video kind of thing. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash a like button and subscribe to the channel down below so you don't miss another video from me, and I will see you very soon with another video.